Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. Steve Rakin here with the Rakin Profit YouTube channel, coming back to you guys with another live show. And in this live show, we're going to be discussing the best pants that sell on eBay from Savers, Goodwill, and Salvation Army. Now, these three locations, Savers, Goodwill, and the Salvation Army, they're thrift stores. And if you're new to selling clothing, one of the best ways to find clothing at a really good price to sell on eBay to make some money is from thrift stores, just like Savers, Goodwill, Salvation Army. But in addition, there's also a lot of mom and pop and kind of off-brand shops that you could buy from as well. There's a lot of locations you can go and a lot of thrift stores that you can visit to find undervalued clothing items to sell on eBay. Now, you may know that there's locations out there like thrift stores to buy clothing that are undervalued to sell on eBay, but the biggest issue that most people encounter is they don't know what to buy and sell. So with that being said, we're doing this live show to help you to learn what the best brands, what the best types of items, the best colors, the best designs in terms of used men's clothing so that you can go out and you could find them and you can buy them. So if you want to make money selling clothing on eBay, you've come to the right place. I've been selling clothes for over three years. I've sold well, I've sold well over a hundred thousand dollars worth of used clothing on eBay, if not more. My eBay account has over, I believe over 2,700 feedback on it. So uh, yeah, I love selling men clothes, men's clothing. There's a lot of money to be made and we're going to dive into this show. First, let's do a little sound check, make sure everything is working properly. All right, sound is working great. There is a comment section enabled right now and it looks like we've got about 28 people watching live. Chicago Crown Hustler in the house. What's going on, man? Game Seekers, I'm in a pawn shop right now. That's awesome. Good luck. Stutter me not. What's going on? I'm doing well. Thank you, Tracy. Hello, Leroy Castleberry. Good to see you. So yeah, guys, let's dive right into this show. And periodically, I will be jumping in and out of the comments to answer some questions. But let's get started. And uh, yeah, Leroy, man, what's going on? I'm shouting you out right now. Let's get started and talk about some of the best pants that are selling on eBay. So you can see my screen right now, hopefully, doing a screen share. And we're on eBay.com. So what I've done is I've typed in men's clothing. On the left-hand side, I've hit pre-owned because I only want to look at clothes that are used because those are going to be the most of you know the most common types uh, in terms of condition types of clothing items you're going to find is used clothes when you go to thrift stores like Savers Goodwill and Salvation. Here in the in the box on the price I hit forty and then left the second box blank, so it's only going to show me items that are selling for forty dollars plus on eBay. I hit buy it now, and I chose U.S. only to keep the currency you know in dollars and sold listing. So let's go through some of these items that sold. First item is a pair of golf pants by the brand Peter Millar. Check it out right there. Peter Millar, definitely a good brand. What I like right off the bat with these pants is the color stands out. It's got the polka dots, and it's a mix between linen and cotton. Linen always does well, L-I-N-E-N. -E Take a look out for that brand. We've got a 51% linen and 49% made cotton as the material. So linen's definitely a cool uh, material to pick up. And this sold for a best offer under 42 bucks. What I like what I like right here is the seller showed the measurements. Because one thing you have to realize as well is sometimes you know when you're dealing with pants the measurements may be off outside of what the tag says because sometimes pants get hemmed uh, you know, they shorten them. Sometimes they lengthen them. Sometimes they, um, they shrink the pants accidentally in the, in the laundry and, you know, just things happen. So it's really good to always include measurements when you're dealing with pants. Here's the waist measurement. And the second measurement you should always take is the inseam. So it looks like this seller provided the inseam measurement as well. So you want to measure right up into the crotch area all the way down to the bottom. So the end seams 32 on this, and when you're measuring the waist, you want to measure the waist like this, and then times it by two. So you see how it's 18 times it by 236. So the waist is accurate in terms of the waist uh, tag on this Peter Millar item. 
I'm not sure what the tag says in terms of the inseam, but uh, this is a 36 by 32 as stated. Uh, no flaws, good brand right here. Check it out. The next item that sold is a great brand that I love buying and selling when it comes to selling pants on eBay. This brand is called Cool, K-U-H-L. And if you guys follow my good buddy Chris, the Bonafide Hustler on YouTube, he shouted out this brand several times. This is a great brand for messing around outdoors, hiking, very high quality, sturdy, strong, um, just an awesome brand when it comes to pants. Also a great brand when it comes to other items outside of pants. Uh, but as you can see in the description, cool Renegade Men's Carbon Gray Nylon, lightweight hiking pants, 34 by 30. So again, if you were to sell these, you want to measure that waist times it by two to get the, the waist measurement and then the inseam as well. Very, very important. These sold for $49.99. White Collar Thrifter is saying great brand. We dig history. Hey, Rakin. Thanks. I need this one. Horrible with pants. Awesome. So I'm glad we got some people in the comments. Again, big shout out to everyone watching live. Be sure to smash that like button right now. Let's get as many likes as we can. I really appreciate that. You guys rock. Here's a pair of Gucci pants that sold. All right, guys, these are some awesome pants to buy and sell. Now, I've never sold this pair of pants, but I've been studying the sold listings for years. And this Abercrombie and Fitch style of pants is freaking amazing. Let me let me let me stop real quick. Cargo pants when it comes to Abercrombie and Fitch do really well, but this having kind of that military feel to it. Uh, I see a keyword paratroops, uh, belted utility pants. This style is insane, guys. This is absolutely insane. Fifty four ninety nine for this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch pants. Let's say theoretically that you're walking in the Salvation Army and you find this exact pair of pants for four ninety nine. Okay, you're in it for five bucks. You go home, you take the pictures, you list it up, you sell it for $54.99. At $54.99, they're going to take approximately about $6 in fees. So you paid five, six has gone in fees, now you're up to 11. Let's say you ship it and it costs you nine bucks to ship. Let's, I, I think that you could ship it cheaper, but let's just say nine bucks. So you're in it for five, purchasing it. Your fees are six, your shipping is nine. You're in it for 20 bucks and you sell it for $54.99. That's a $35 profit that you just made on that $5 investment, which is absolutely amazing. Um, this this seller is a top rated seller. I like the pictures. Very clean looking. <clears throat> Check that out. Let's get a few up close looks at what you want to look for when you're dealing with this. You see the bottoms right there with the little string so you can tighten it up against your ankles. And then there's the zipper on the side. I mean, these pants are phenomenal. Check it out. Very awesome pair of pants right there. Here's a brand, Ted Baker. Um, if you can find these in dress pants, they do very well. Uh, looks like this was a best offer under $49.99. And there's a cool little tip too, guys. If you want to sell dress pants or pants in general, you can get one of those little hangers with the Velcro that sticks to your wall. Or you can just nail, put a nail into your wall and get the little hanger like this, the pants hanger. And you can hang it against the wall and it's easy to take pictures. It's a lot nicer. You see how this picture looks good. Um, the seller could improve the lighting. The lighting really isn't that good which is making it not focus in too well. Um, but if you had some good lighting, this is a great way to take pictures of pants. You just, again, put a nail in the wall or get the little uh, Velcro thing, kind of like, uh, it's like one side is adhesive, it sticks to the wall, um, and then the other side is kind of a Velcro and you can make a connection to hang it. Uh, but this sold for best offer under $49.99. Ted Baker, um, I mean, you could find these things dirt cheap, guys. <clears throat> OZ Worldwide saying, bada bing, bada boom. Steve, I thought you're done with clothing. Didn't you just sell all of your inventory? Uh, one thing you guys got to know about me is I got a lot of things going on, and not everything is what it appears on the surface. So you may see a video of me selling all of my stuff, but that doesn't mean that it's all of my stuff. I actually have a couple hundred more uh, really special pieces of clothing that I'm listing up and uh, 
I'm selling clothing. Uh, I didn't quit clothing. You got to take every every video and everything you see from the outside with a grain of salt because I can't share with you every single nut and bolt of my business. Uh, but I'm definitely not done with clothing uh, at all. Hey, what's going on, Tara? Good to see you. I got your message, Tara, about the eBay store. Maybe we'll we'll do a video diving into yours one of these days. <clears throat> Okay, cool. So let's keep moving down the line in terms of the best pants to sell on eBay. Uh, here's a great brand when it comes to messing with pants. And uh, to give you a little personal information, me and my girlfriend are actually back together again. I'm really happy to uh, share that with you guys. We ended up working things out. And we're back together and uh, super happy. But anyways, the, the reason I'm sharing that with you is because she's been wanting to sell on eBay for a while. And we actually started up her store the other day on eBay, which I'm super pumped up for her because she's like really excited about it. And it's just, it's an awesome experience sharing knowledge with, you know, the people you love and care about. Um, but anyways, we listed up a pair of true religion jeans on her eBay store the other day and she's already got a bid on it for $29.99, which is really cool. Uh, she's excited about it. I'm excited. So, uh, yeah, definitely a good time right there, but true Religion's a great brand. Um, of course, when messing with this brand, always authenticate it first. There's a lot of guides out there. There's a lot of people who can help you in these Facebook forums. Just post a picture of the item. Look for the, the details. The fine details is what matters most. If, if the tag is off center, if the threads are falling apart, if it just looks sketchy, and I know this is kind of a weird way to explain it, but if it looks sketchy, if it doesn't look real, there's a good chance it might not be, but it's a very tricky brand, guys. I've actually, before, I've actually gone into a true religion store, and I didn't let anybody know that I went into the store. It was I was at a mall, an outlet mall, and I took pictures of a bunch of true religion items, and I posted on my Facebook, real or fake, and everybody said fake. But it was real. It was straight from the store. So it's hard to – it's really hard to tell. I guess the best way is the field test. Look for the details. Holy mackerel. This is a brand I have been looking for for the longest time. If any of you folks ever find this brand, I want you to personally send me a private message with a picture of you holding this brand next to you. The brand is Loudmouth. Yes, loud mouth. And I know a lot of you YouTubers out there who are watching have a loud mouth. I'm just kidding. Uh, I've definitely got the loudest mouth. Anyways, loud mouth is a phenomenal brand, guys. Look at this. If I gave you guys $100, would you run around wearing these in public? I don't know if I would. I really don't. Check it out. <clears throat> I've been looking for this brand forever. If you guys have ever sold this brand, let me know. Thanks, Dash. Sweezy, good to see you. <clears throat> All right, was just looking through the comments. Great brand, fifty-one ninety-nine, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few more Loudmouth items because this this brand is phenomenal. Check it out, Loudmouth men's clothing. I'm gonna go to sold, pre-owned. So look, there's a lot of board shorts, golf shorts, 29, 37, 51, 29. Here's a polo shirt, 28. I mean, there's no sold listings under 20. Well, there we go. One went for 1449. They maybe there's a flaw. Um, oh geez, look at this brand. Look at this brand. Look at this shirt right here. I know we're talking about pants, but holy mackerel. That is wacky. That is a wacky shirt right there. $64.99. Let me show you the tag real quick. <clears throat> That's phenomenal right there, guys. All right, let's keep moving down. Um, okay, let's see. Here's an excellent brand when it comes to brand. Uh, pants brands. Uh, this is an Italian brand. The brand is Zanella. Z-A-N-E-L-L-A. Check it out right here. You could typically notice this brand when you're flipping through the uh, pants because around the uh, perimeter of the waist, you'll see these little lines, like these little streaks going around with, with the word Zanella in between. Um, phenomenal brand right here. There are different models when it comes to it. So if you take a look at this tag, there's probably a specific model to this somewhere. But I sell these things for 30, 40, 50. I haven't found a, I haven't found a pair of these in about six months. Uh, 
I did come across one the other day, but it had a flaw, so I ended up passing on it. There were some rips. So be sure to check these things out and authentic, uh, not authenticate them, but um, inspect them to make sure they're in good shape. There's a, sometimes there's a lot of rips or issues going on with the bottom of the pants or sometimes the waist, the button's missing. So just double check, but this is a great brand right here in terms of dress pants. <clears throat> All right, this is really cool. The brand is Brooks Brothers, but the cool thing is the fabric is made by Loro, uh, Laura, Loro Piana right here. So check that out. Super 120s fabric by Loro Piana. If you ever find a Brooks Brothers or any item that has this associated with it, Loro Piana, which you'll find with sometimes with sport coats or suits. Or different types of items. Laura Piana actually makes their own clothing as well, but it's super hard to come across. You want to buy it. You want to do your research first, make sure it's in good shape, but you definitely want to buy it. Uh, this sold for a best offer under $44.99. The waist was 35W. Uh, 120 is 35 by 29. Definitely a cool item right there. All right, guys, this is another brand. I don't, I think I've come across this once or twice. I don't remember. Uh, phenomenal brand. And I keep using that word. I need a new word to describe my excitement. A spectacular brand, Bill's Khakis. Now, um, here's the tag right here. This is what you want to be looking out for, Bill's Khakis. And I'm going to show you guys right now that this brand does really well. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to type in Bill's Khakis. And I'm going to just show you the sold listings right off the top. We're going to go used, and you'll see firsthand what I'm talking about. Best offer under 22. Here's a shirt for $14.99. Best offer under 62, 23, uh, 18, 32, 21, 57. Uh, let's go buy it now because sometimes the auctions can be a little deceiving. But as you can see, guys, these pants do really, really well. Some not as well. Um, but $24.99, I mean, there's, there's great room here for $54.99. Uh, here's a shirt that went for 20. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand right here. Here's a pair of Ralph Lauren, uh, denim supply jeans. Uh, one thing I really like about this is it has the, um, the cool little, uh, zip, not the zip, but, uh, what is that called again? I forgot the button fly, uh, right here with the multiple buttons. Check that out. Really cool. Let me show you the tag. Check that out. Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren with the flag. That is really cool. <clears throat> All right, let's keep moving. Here's a great brand. Uh, this is a brand that I'll pick up any item within this brand. My favorite item within this brand are the fleeces that have the crazy colors. Uh, the sweat, the sweaters, um, but the pants do really well. Here's a pair of Patagonia pants that went for sixty three ninety nine. Sixty three ninety nine. Check it out. These are interesting pants. They're almost like sweatpants. What are these? So check it out. There's the brand <clears throat> Patagonia. Probably one of my top 10 brands. If you would ask me, Steve, what are your top 10 brands? Patagonia would definitely be in there as one of my favorite brands. There's a there's a crazy following uh, when it comes to this brand. Let's jump into the comments real quick and answer some questions, see what's going on. Appreciate all the love, guys. 50 people watching live, 26 likes. So if you are watching and you're enjoying this, be sure to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Uh, i tell you... Uh, it's motivating. It's motivating as a YouTuber, someone who's creating content to see those likes go up. It's a lot of fun and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. So thank you for all the likes. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Chicago Crown Hustler says, ugly clothes are in. LOL. Yes, ugly clothes do well. And what do I mean by ugly? Because that's a word that Someone may say something's ugly, and then another person might say it's beautiful. Um, it's one of those things I'd say ugly is something that's really unique, that stands out, that's loud, kind of like those loudmouth polka dots with all the crazy flamboyant colors. Something that, for the most part, you'd say, I don't think I could walk out of the house wearing that. That's ugly. North Face pants, the kind, the legs zip off uh, of the shorts do well. Yes, very, very well. Big shout out to Frank in the house, Frank Loris. Good to see you. Spring Cruise, what's going on? SC, what up? 
Georgia. Georgia, what's going on? Hey, Steve. Going on, Grumpy. Good to see you. What days is it free to list? I'm not 100% sure. Um, just recently, uh, because I had kind of gone on a hiatus with my eBay store for a while since I do Amazon FBA, I would gotten my eBay going back up again, and I just upgraded to the store the other day. And there's a lot of benefits to having a store. So if you're at that point uh, where you're thinking about upgrading to a store, uh, there's definitely a lot of benefits. One benefit is you get the $25 worth of free um, eBay shipping supplies. If you go with the basic store, which is 20 a month, if you commit to a year, you get more listings for free. Um, you get a discount, I believe, on final value fees or a discount on something and shipping. Um, and also you have the ability to run sales on your store. Diane says, I have a Patagonia women's hoodie, but I can't get the color right on the picture, so haven't posted it yet. Make sure you have good light, a good lighting setup. That'll help. Also, be sure to mess around with the contrast and the light on your camera. That'll help as well. If you have an iPhone, it's uh, it does a really good job. I've been taking pictures on my iPhone lately, and it's been taking pictures of reds and greens that I typically have a hard time with with the camera very well. So um, let's keep moving, guys. <clears throat> Here's a pair of... Um, a lot, excuse me, a lot of five, 511 tactical jeans, or actually khaki pants, excuse me, $74.99 best offer. So, you know, imagine going into a thrift store and picking these up for even five bucks a piece, lighting them up 25, maybe 10 bucks shipping, you're in it for 35, another four, uh, seven or eight in fees, you're up to 45, let's just say, you made 30 bucks right off the top. So, uh, very cool right there. I like this brand. <clears throat> so there's some flaws it looks like I believe and that's one thing if there's a flaw on an item a good way to depict that flaw so your customers when they're looking at your item can determine how large of a flaw it is is to put a piece uh, excuse me put a dime or a nickel or a penny next to the flaw so they can see how big it is so you know I know how big a dime is and I see that flaw and I know that it's you know 125th or 120th the size um, of a dime so I can I can I can say to myself all right that's not a big deal um, it's hard to tell the size of flaws and issues if you don't put something next to it to compare so very smart seller right there I like this seller already Cameraman 96, big shout out to you. $74.99. So they were very descriptive in terms of issues and flaws with the item, which is important. You know, you can try to hide a flaw, but the problem with that is you're probably going to get a return. If you don't get a return, you may get a negative feedback, and nobody wants that. You know, your feedback is very important, especially if you're new. And if you want to become a or remain a top rated seller, also, you know, returns are no fun because, you know, say you sold this pair of, you know, tactical khaki pants, this lot of five, and you got $74.99 in your PayPal, you know, maybe a week goes by and you, 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 uh, send that money from PayPal to your bank account, you get it, you spend the money, and then a return comes in and they suck it back out, uh, which kind of stinks. So just be honest and upfront with, with flaws and issues. Oh, this is a great brand right here. This is another super duper high end Italian brand. Um, I've only found this brand maybe a handful of times in my career. The brand is Keaton, K I T O N. If you're going through the dress pants, look inside the waist for this tag right here. This is a phenomenal brand when it comes to selling pants. One of the best brands to purchase as a reseller. Uh, somebody just mentioned another brand, Diesel, D-I-E-S-E-L. Another terrific brand. I'm going to type that in under men's clothing. I'm going to go Diesel Pants. And I'll show you right now that these pre-owned pants are doing well, very well, especially the jeans. Check it out, guys. These things are awesome. I love this brand. I actually have a pair of diesel pants. I'm going to be listing up uh, one of these uh, one of these days, hopefully this week. So awesome brand to buy and sell diesel. Let's continue moving down the list. So I don't know what these are, but I'm intrigued. You know, it's, it's funny because I've been researching clothing for years, and there's still, every time I do these research videos, I learn something new. Um, so I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know, not only am I making this video to help you out to grow my channel, but it helps me out so much as well to learn what's in style and what to buy and sell to grow my business. So, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of fun. 
Um, what is this? Super Dry. I've never heard of this brand before. Super Dry. Sold for 45 bucks. Let's see if we could learn anything about it. Super Dry Cargo Pants. Excellent condition. So let's do uh, Super Dry Pants under men's clothing because I've never heard of this brand. Okay, let's hit the sold listings. Let's see what this brand is all about. So I showed you guys the tag. Um, this only I'm gonna do buy it now because I don't I don't I'm not a big fan of the auctions because a lot of them don't go for much because you got to find that specific person to buy within seven days. I like buy it now because you can put it for 30 days, keep relisting it, and find that person. Check this out. I think we found ourselves a bolo 45, 39. Um Okay, so I'm already. I could already tell which ones are doing the best, because uh, these khakis didn't seem to do too well. Only at 19.95, which isn't bad. But look, the cargo pants right here with the camo 30, uh, 39 for the camo, 39 for the cargo. Here's another cargo style 45. Um, let's see. Yeah, guys. So the cargo pants are what you're going to want to be looking for with this brand. I can already tell. Um, the other styles sell as well, but super dry cargo pants. Cool. That's awesome. Here's a phenomenal brand. I got to stop saying that word. I keep saying phenomenal. I'm like addicted to that word today. Help me out guys with some words. All right. Uh, Oxford clothes with the double X in the middle Oxford clothes. That's the brand two words, Oxford clothes. Um, I've got a few of these items listed up on my eBay store. I know at least one I've got a couple more. Here's the tag. Super, super high-end brand right here. S super. Oxford Clothes. Highest. I don't know what that says, if that's quality. Uh, $149 is sold for. Best offer under $149. Uh, they included the inseam and the waist, which is important. I do not accept returns. However, I have not had any previous problems. Um, so the thing about not offering returns is this, guys. First of all, not offering returns, which I, I do sometimes. I, I've really got to stop it. It's a bad habit. Uh, the thing with not offering returns is, number one, if they want to return, they can still get it because they can just open up a case with PayPal and get their money back. Uh, number two, you know, it, it, it hurts you in terms of becoming a top-rated seller. To be a top-rated seller, I believe you have to have a certain number, if not all, your items uh as accepted returns. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Number three, I know that eBay is hurting sellers who are doing no returns in terms of the listing, uh, the ranking, and the search engine. Because think about it. If you're running eBay, you want your hap you want your customers to be happy. You want people to buy from sellers who are adhering to rules that would be conducive with a happy customer. I mean, think about all the big reseller uh, re resell stores out there, Walmarts, Targets, any big box store, they all accept returns and it's for a reason. Um, so not a, not not accepting returns, I, I do it sometimes too. It's a bad habit. I don't know why people do it. I don't even know why I do it, but I've, I've really got to stop. Um, let's see. John Varvatos, definitely a decent brand. There's more Zanellas. Orvis, love that brand. Some more Cools. American Stitch, never heard of that. Check it out. Brooks Brothers, best offer under $49.99. Ugly. Remember someone was saying earlier, ugly is in. Check this out, guys. $49.99, Brooks Brothers. Check out the, the, the tag. That is what you want to look for. 32 likes. Appreciate all the likes, guys. Smash that like button. 62 people watching, so that's awesome. You know what I know about you guys that are watching right now? You're here to learn. You are here to grow your business, and that's what it's all about. The more you know the more you grow, you know, the more often you go out to the thrift stores looking, the more often you spend in the sold listings, the more often you spend researching, the more money you're going to make. It's bottom line. I mean, if you're living in the United States, especially, and you live near a city and there's thrift stores around you there, there's a, an abundance of items to buy and sell. You know, everybody's hopping on the Amazon FBA train, including myself, you know, I make a lot more money each and every month from Amazon over eBay. Um, and mainly because I put a lot more time into Amazon. But the thing is, with that being said, there's an excellent opportunity to make money selling clothing on eBay right this very moment because a lot of people are jumping ship to go to Amazon because it's, I hate to say it's a lot easier, but it's a lot sc more scalable. 
and it's a lot of hard work selling clothes. You know, people ask me, Steve, why don't you sell clothing full time? Why are you only doing it part time? Why did you just sell off six thousand dollars worth of your clothing and only kept you know your your top five ten percent? The problem that I'm having right now, to be a hundred percent honest, is time. Now, and I'm sure that you have the same issue because I'm, maybe you have a family, maybe you have kids, maybe you're going to school part time, maybe you're running an eBay and Amazon business, maybe you're doing, um, you know, maybe you're a masseuse on the side. I don't know. Maybe you have other side businesses. That was weird. But everyone's busy. Everyone has a limited amount of time, and myself included. You know, selling. On, I'm selling on eBay. I'm selling on Amazon. I'm selling on Craigslist. I'm running a membership site. I'm posting YouTube videos daily. Um, you know, I'm a busy guy. I'm a very busy guy, and uh, eBay's time consuming. It's very time consuming. And this isn't about me, but you have to realize if you're going to get into selling clothing on eBay, it, it, it's a time suck. It's a really big time suck. And you've got to manage your time wisely. You've got to leverage your time. You've got to choose what items you want to buy and sell very carefully because if you're going to be buying low margin clothing, it's still going to take you the same amount of time to list an item that only makes you five versus 30 or 40. So I'd rather list up 10 items that make me 30 than list up 30 items that only make me three or four bucks, if that makes sense. Um, because with eBay, not only do you have the time to list the items, but you have to take the time to photograph, to ship, to deal with customer service, to store. Uh, you need space. So there's definitely a big, you know, a big time suck. So um, I just wanted to be upfront with that. But with that being said, there's a big opportunity right now to buy and sell clothing on eBay because nobody wants to put in the hard work to make it happen. Um, when I go thrifting now to Salvation Armies and Goodwills and, and, and um, Savers, I see so many people with their scanners, scanning electronics, puzzles, board games, books, um, just doing Amazon FBA stuff. But I rarely ever see anybody looking up clothing on eBay, maybe one out of a hundred times. So that's it guys. That's what I, that's, that's my two cents on that. Uh, Phoenix fire says, yeah, eBay is a lot of work. I sell vintage and research and, and the research I do. Good thing. I enjoy it. Exactly. You have a question dash Sweezy ask away and I'm going to keep looking at clothes and I'll answer your question. Wow. There is some cool stuff. Check out these Tommy, um, excuse me, not Tommy Bahama, Tommy Hilfiger sailing gear pants. Um, and I'm just reading the title from the nineties vintage, uh, vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff does really well. And this definitely is screaming out vintage. It's got the cool little sailing gear patch best offer under 66 bucks. This is a freaking cool item. I love this to you. You know, maybe you're new and you're like, who in the right mind would pay that much? Vintage Tommy Hilfiger, vintage Ralph Lauren stuff has a crazy following behind it. Steve, how about Off the Hook brand? I've never heard of that. Let me look it up. Off the Hook men's clothing pants. Oops, type that in wrong. Let's see what this brand is all about. All right, I don't see anything coming up for this brand. I don't know if somebody's got the brand name wrong or maybe off the hook. Okay, wow. Let's check out the sold listings. See, I've never heard of this brand before, surprisingly. See, I don't see I don't see much about it. So I'd say nothing special. If you find it, look it up. It might be one of those items where there's not a lot of sellers. Uh, I just passed up something before, Paul Smith. That's a great brand. Here's an excellent brand when you're messing with clothing, guys. Keep your eye out for this brand right here uh, in terms of cargo pants. Duluth Trading Company. Uh, I've sold this brand, I don't know, 40 times probably. Excellent brand. This brand can make you some great money. It looks like this one's new with tags. Check it out. Uh, I wish I could see the tag. I would show you that, but that's an excellent brand to mess with. Uh, Spring Crew says, I found a bunch of Joseph A. Bank suits and a Giorgio Armani two-piece suit at Goodwill. I chickened out and didn't buy anything. Uh, how much were they? The thing with Joseph A. Banks is I only like to buy the gold series suits because those go for like 100 plus. The other ones will sell as well. You could auction them off for 20 to 40 bucks. Um, but it just depends. I mean, if you're paying one to three bucks for the suit, then yeah, you could pick up pretty much all the Joseph A. Bank suits. But if you're paying 10 bucks plus, you know, I'd only focus on the gold series.
Yeah, 25 is way too high, way too high for a Joseph A. Bank suit. It's it's a dime a dozen brand. You can go to any thrift store and find tons of them. So um, unless it's the gold series, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, the signature gold, uh, Joseph A. Bank signature gold suit. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, 149, 100, 124, 89. Uh, the gold series does very, very well. So uh, keep your eye out for the gold series suits. You know, anything else, Joseph A. Bank, in terms of the suits, I mean, it can do well, but you're going to see the prices are going to vary a lot. You know, 27, 44, 32, best offer under 24 for a suit. So. Just be careful with this brand. Anyways, guys, I'm going to answer a few more questions. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, sharing with you guys some of the best brands to buy and sell when dealing with pants to sell on eBay from thrift stores such as Savers, Goodwill, and Salvation Army. I certainly had a ton of fun going through the sold listings with you, and I even learned about a new brand, which was pretty cool. Um, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, guys, I, I enjoy interacting with you. I'm very grateful to have you guys following me on my channel. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit the, the subscription button and these videos will get sent directly to you. Also, if you haven't already gotten my free book that I've created alongside with three of my good friends in the green room, go into the description. The book is called 100 Amazing Items to Resell. 100 Amazing Items to Resell. So it's the first link in the description underneath this video. <clears throat> Just put in your name and email and we'll send you over that book for free, 100% free, and I'll share with you 100 of the best items to sell on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and like these are like easy to find, but like top items that you can buy. So be sure to get that, that free guide below. It'll help you out a lot, and um, like I said, we've put a lot of hard work into that. Yeah, I've been on for about 35 minutes, so want to keep this short and sweet and not overextend myself and just kind of give you some of the best pants that I saw just going through the sold listings. Uh, again, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe because I do these things all the time, these live shows from women's clothing to glassware to ballpoint pens to suits to dress pants. I mean, we talk about a lot of different things on this channel. So <clears throat> if you guys have some questions, I'm going to be hanging out with you for a few more minutes. So feel free to ask away. All right, let's see. So if you go to rakenprofit.com forward slash 100 amazing items, it's the first link in the description. All you got to do is hit this button, send me the free book, put in your email, and I'll send you over the book. <clears throat> Joe Lowe, what's going on? My question is how much would it cost to ship, including price of packaging? So here, I got a tip for you guys before I even answer that question. Make sure you're shipping your items through the eBay system. And the reason why you want to ship through eBay and print your labels out through eBay instead of just stopping by the post office is because, number one, you can go through all the options. There's a lot of various options in terms of how to ship, from flat rate boxes to just a, a plain box going priority. Or if the weight is low enough, you can go <clears throat> first class. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, there's different services you can look at. There's USPS or there's FedEx. So in terms of how to ship, what which way to ship, it really depends on the size. If you can fit it in a flat rate box, that may be the best. If it's very close to you but it's heavy, you might want to go with a uh, zone A box or a zone B box if it's a, if it's mid country. There's a million different ways. It's it's kind of hard to tell you what's the best. But um. Just print your items through eBay because you can put your weight and then you can like mess around with all the different shipping styles to see which one's the cheapest. So OZ Worldwide, Steve, have you considered drop shipping as a strategy or is anyone in the green room doing it? Uh, check out Dave Koziel on YouTube. Dave Koziel, K-O-Z-I-E-L. He just did a series on his channel about drop shipping. So check that out. Uh, but I don't do it. Um, and I don't know if anyone's doing it in the green room. I'm not 100% sure. Is there any way to get a green room newsletter even if we aren't members yet? Yes. If you want to get on the green room newsletter and get these live shows sent to you and kind of get a bunch of emails from us, uh, mostly tips and help, helpful emails, go to the link in the, in the description. If you get the free book, you'll actually be opted into the newsletter. So we send you a couple of email, emails per week helping you out and whatnot. So be sure to get on that. 
you know, drop shipping is an option, but why, why drop ship? I mean, there's so much money to be made at thrift stores and garage sales and pawn shops and retail stores. I mean, I guess drop shipping's cool in a sense because you can, you can leverage yourself if you set up the proper systems. Um, but a lot of drop shippers are kind of like, a lot of them do it in an unethical way. I don't know much about it, so I can't really touch on it, but I know it's kind of like black hat sometimes to do drop shipping. So I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, but I don't know enough to really give a good opinion. Where should I go to learn about collectible items? Um, just start typing in collectible items to eBay and just search the sold listings. That's probably the best way. Scanning the sold listings, kind of like I did it with the uh, with the pants. You can type in, you can go under collectibles under categories on eBay and just hit sold US. You could search for used items, you know, that sell for over a certain price, like I taught you in the beginning of this video, and just start, you know, just start studying, seeing what sells. Dash Sweezy states, scanned a board game at Goodwill, uh, was priced at $18,000. Next day it was zero. Why did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Priced at 18,000. That was probably a pricing error. Um, if it's zero the next day, there may have only been one item that was listed and then it sold, or maybe the person took the listing down. You can go to camelcamelcamel.com to look at price history on the Amazon seller app. <clears throat> All right, I'm just seeing if there's any more questions coming. BB2630, what's up BB? Thanks to your videos, I started uh, selling on eBay, sold my first item this week, bought a Holland and Holland vest for five, sold it for 300. Now I wonder if I could have sold it for more because it sold fast. Um, you know, possibly you'd have to look at the sold listings to see what other ones sold for, but you know, you paid five and sold it for 300. I mean, you have nothing to complain about. Um, can you say bitchin? Bitchin. I just, I just said it. Um, you know, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, you paid five bucks and sold it for 300, you know, considering you sold it on eBay, there's probably 40 in fees, five bucks to buy 45 ship 10, 55. I mean, you left with $250 profit. So you have nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Is there a proper video or course for taxes for Amazon? Um, I'm not sure. I'll take a look. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share with you guys a video. But it looks like that's about it, guys. want to thank you again for watching live. Ruby, K. Alex, Rivera, good to see you. Dash Sweezy, appreciate everybody watching live again. If you hadn't had a chance to smash that like button, hit that like button, subscribe. Go into the description. As you can see on the screen, the book, 100 Amazing Items to Resell, that is a free book that you can get. It will also opt you into the Green Room newsletter with a whole bunch of free information for you guys. So be sure to get that book. Subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys rock and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.